Hey guys, it's Eric. Just wanted to do an update since I haven't done one in a while. Um, here's something I've been working on just today, actually. Uh, here's a test scene on an iPad. You can see it's not plugged into anything. It's only connected to uh, my Wi-Fi network. And here's the same exact build on a iPhone 3GS. And I'm going to hit this sweet little uh, connect button here. And you'll see that my moving the iPhone is actually controlling stuff on the iPad. So that means that I got a server uh, functionality working. So this is the, the iPad is a server and the iPhone is the client. So it's taking the inputs from here and transferring them to the iPad. And it's a little bit jerky because I'm just using the uh, accelerometer to uh, uh, move things on there and uh, it's actually pretty uh, pretty stable um, so right now I'm just entering in IP addresses and uh, directly connecting that way but uh, I won't have to do that in the production environment let's disconnect so you can see after I've disconnected moving it doesn't change the iPad so and now for some real blasphemy here's my droid oh god I think it went to sleep on me here and I've got the uh, same build running <clears throat> on my Motorola Droid. So it wakes up here. So let me get this connected. It's really hard to hit the buttons on it. Oh, there we go. So, there you go. A Motorola Droid running Android interfacing with an Apple iPad. Hell has frozen over. You can see. Got the keyboard and everything. This is definitely an Android device. So that's uh, the result of tonight's work and uh, stuff I could use this for. I saw the uh, the new iPad 2 which I have coming in the mail sometime um, and most likely the new uh, iPhones will be able to uh, output to a TV. So I figured that if you're going to be playing my next game and you want to just play it on your TV, if you have an iDevice like this or a Droid you can just connect that to the iPad and then have the iPad pumping out the graphics to a TV and just play it with uh, uh, using this as the controller. So you have just left stick, right stick, or context sensitive things on this device uh, controlling the iPad, which is then putting the image out onto a TV. So that's the whole idea for this. Um, it's pretty easy to implement, actually, so it's not that big of a deal. And it should be cool once I get it all working. So uh, thanks for watching.